So, last problem. Calculating the Ka for weak acids and bases. Assuming you know how to calculate the pH from Ka, well, we're going to go backwards the other direction. Okay, so we're last one, number 17. Calculate the Ka for an acid that is 1.25% ionized in a 0.25 molar solution of the acid. So the first thing we've done on every other problem so far is written an equation. The problem is I don't know what the equation is because I don't know what the acid is. I know all acids start with H, so I'm just going to write H acid just to make up something. And all acids react with water to produce, because the acid's going to donate its hydrogen. All acids act, react with water to produce H3O+. And whatever is left, I'm just going to call it acid minus, because I don't know what that acid is. Okay, so starting the same way as I started before, it is... 0.25 molar acid, and if it's 1.25% ionized, that means that the change here is going to be 1.25% of 0.25. So all I have to do is figure out what is 1. Point, let's try that again. 1.25% of 0.25. Okay. So if 1.25%, that means 1.25 out of 100 is what out of 0.25? Let's cross multiply and cross multiply and divide and we end up with x is equal to 0 0.0031. Well, that means that my change is going to be 0.0031, so that at equilibrium, I have 0.25 minus 0.0031. Since it's only 1.25% ionized, we're going to say it's approximately equal to 0.25. Then I had 0 plus x, so plus 0.0031, and the acid was 0 plus 0.0031 which makes this 0 0.0031 and 0 0.0031. Okay, so I can easily find the pH for this, but it's actually asking me for the Ka. So, K expression. K equals, and Ka, because it's an acid, H3O plus times whatever the acid is minus over H acid. And all I gotta do is plug it in. Okay, so now all we gotta do is plug it in. 0.25 for H acid, 0 0.0031 for H3O plus, and 0 0.0031 for acid minus. So we have Ka equals 0 0.0031 squared over 0.25. That is 9.61 times 10 to the negative 6 over 0.25, and we get 3.84 times 10 to the negative 5. That is your Ka. Final answer.